Well, in news this morning, Another Republican wants to challenge Senator Al Franken in his re-election bid. Senator Julianne Ortman entered the race yesterday. She is the state senator that represents Carver County in the Minnesota State Senate. Ortman made her official announcement yesterday in Waconia. We don't need any more yes men in Washington. We don't need any more disinterested millionaires in the Senate. We already have over 60. We don't need any more celebrities who think it's their job to sit back and watch and provide comedic commentary. We need a strong, independent-minded woman. <laughs> Ortman is an attorney and small business owner. She and her husband have four children. Other Republicans running for the Senate against Franken include Mike McFadden, a Sunfish Lake businessman, and Representative Jim Abler, an eight-term state representative from Anoka. The Republican primary is scheduled for August 12, 2014, and State Senator Julianne Ortman joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in. Good morning. How fun to be here. All right. Let me ask you, uh, why is it that you feel you want to run against Al Franken. Yeah, thank you. You know, when I was a little girl, my father taught me to have the courage of my convictions. And so I believe that we can do better. I, something is very wrong in Washington, and we can't wait six more years to get to the heart of the problem. We have a U.S. Senator that has ducked the most important issues facing our nation. And so I believe it's important to step up and run. We need more Minnesota and Washington, and less Washington and Minnesota. All right. Uh, what, what issues has Senator Duck specifically? Well, in particular, we have a $17 trillion national debt and no plan to pay for it. We have, a, coming out of an economic recession, a part-time economy. We need more jobs in Minnesota, and government has gotten in the way of business investment and job growth. And when government is in the way, it has to reform itself, and we need to reform our, our government in Washington. All right. You, of course, are not running alone or, or seeking the Republican nomination for that part. Let me ask you, will you abide by the nominating process, or will, if you do not get the nomination, will you go to a primary? Well, I'll tell you that I am a Republican and I'm not planning to run against Republicans. I'm planning to run against Al Franken. And so every effort between now and November 4th, 2014 will be to put, put together the strongest race I can against Al Franken. But the person who has to run against Al Franken either has to get the nomination, has to be the winner of the primary. Right. If you don't get the nomination, will you proceed to the primary? Well, it will be important, but I intend to run and win in the endorsement. So you plan to get the nomination if you don't get it? I intend to run and win in the endorsement. So that means if you do get it, you will not but go to the primary. What it means is I don't have any plan to run against Republicans. I think we need to be a good, strong team in the next election. We need to work together to make sure as a unified party, we bring the best case possible to the voters of Minnesota and win in 2014. Okay, because a lot of people want to hear that answer because you've got one opponent, uh, Mike McFadden, a wealthy businessman, uh, who has indicated that he may well go to the primary if he doesn't get the nominating process. He is not not a well-known individual, but this right. week he picked up two very big endorsements from former Republican U.S. Senators Norm right. Coleman and Rod Grams. Right. They're saying they think he is the best man or best person to run against Al Franken. How would you respond to those endorsements? Well, I respect them both, and I'm grateful for their service to our state, for their service in the past. But it's time to move forward. We have an election that's 14 months away, and we need to go out and get every voter we possibly can to hear our Republican principles. All right. In, in terms of uh, Senator Franken, uh, obviously he barely uh, squeaked by with 312 votes. A lot of people thought that he would be an easy target. You've had an awful lot of prominent Republicans who have decided not to run, including Governor Pawlenty and Congressman Eric Paulson. Um, why do you think Senator Franken's approval ratings right now are at 55 uh, percent? And he seems to be doing a lot better and a lot, be a lot more popular than many people expected him to be. Well, I think what you just hit the nail on the head. I think people set very low expectations for him. And he might be meeting them, but I think they're too low for a United States Senator. Right. I mean, we need to have a guardian of the public's trust. We need to have a stronger connection between us and the people that yeah. represent us in Washington, a stronger connection to people that are hardworking here in Minnesota to support their families, to pay their bills, pay their taxes, and save for their children's future. You know, uh, finally, I know that you have been outspoken against Obamacare, the health care reform plan. Senator Franken does have a provision, though, that was put into that plan that has provided rebates uh, for 8.9 million Americans. It's a provision that he authored requiring insurers to pay at least 80 to 85 percent of consumer premiums into services. Would you have that part of the health care plan reform uh, repealed as well? 
Well, we haven't been talking about repeal because I think you need to look at the fact that uh, Congress passed that bill, the President signed it, the U.S. Supreme Court actually upheld it. There are parts of it that need to be changed, and I'm glad we're starting to look at that. We need to change it in an enormous way. But I want to remind people that Senator Franken put up the 60th vote. He cast the deciding vote to pass that law, and then he was not willing to stand up for it when the President decided to delay implementation. That's one of the things that's really wrong in Washington, because if you pass that law, you should be willing to stand behind it and work to make it work. Uh -huh. And instead, we've seen some of the major architects stand down that and retire from though, Congress. Senator, that provision, though, would you, uh, do you disagree with that provision? No. I, I think anything that you so can you, do. You, you, you do support that particular provision of Senator Franken's? Anything we can do to drive down the cost of health care in the United States is a good thing. Okay. Well, Senator Julianne Ortman, uh, we obviously are going to be hearing a lot more from you in the coming months. Uh, Welcome to the U.S. Senate race, I guess, and we look forward to having you, you on again. Very exciting. Thank you. All right.